Hi everybody, I'm Kate and this is another Welcome to the Netherlands video. I don't have a ton of free time today, so I'm just going to jump right in. But today we are going to talk about money and banks in the Netherlands. So the Netherlands is on the Euro. They haven't always been, but they were one of the first to kind of join the European Union with the Benelux kind of situation. I don't know a lot about that, but if you guys are interested in that, I can research the history of that and do a video on that. Let me know if you're interested in learning about um, the European Union and the Benelux kind of Netherlands um, involvement in that. But anyway, so the Netherlands, like France and Spain and Ireland, and a whole host of other countries is on the Euro, which makes it super, super easy to travel to other countries because you don't have to worry about getting your money changed um, or paying an exchange kind of rate. And if you're watching from the US, you might wonder, what is the exchange rate between the Euro and the dollar? I didn't look it up specifically for this video because I know um, it won't be long and it will have changed again, but as of right now, it's not enough to make a difference when you're looking at buying things. For example, so if you go to Starbucks, you're going to spend, you know, four fifty to five somethings. Or if you go to dinner, you're going to spend twelve to fifteen somethings dollars or euros. It's about the same. Even though it's not exactly the same, it's enough the same that you don't really think about it. And because of that, I've actually slipped up a few times and said, oh, our bill is, you know, $25, or we're going to split that. And someone, and whoever I'm with is like, dollars, what? <laughs> no, it's just because it's so similar that it doesn't feel different. So the Netherlands is one of the most advanced countries in the world when it comes to banking. And money is super, super digital here. This makes it ridiculously easy to manage and move your money around. I get paid with a direct deposit. I Most of my like spending, whenever I book an Airbnb or a flight, or I go to the store and I use my card, or even when I uh, split the cost of something with a friend and they pay, I can pay directly to their account. So I never write checks, and I hardly ever deal in cash, except for when I take a little bit of cash when I go on a trip or something, but it's pretty rare. But despite the fact that it's really digital and really easy, um, it is really safe as well. So we have these little things called e-identifiers, so anytime you do any online shopping you have to use this, anytime you do any big transfers within your bank account, or um, even lately they've had us register our devices that we use for mobile banking, um, and that required this. So any kind of like interaction with your account or any amount of money that's moving has to be done with this. Essentially what would have to happen for someone to steal your identity or steal your money is they would have to have your identifier, your card, and know your PIN number and your login information. So it's all these points that you have to have with you to manage your money. They would have to not just have one of those things, but all of those things that makes it that much safer. And as my host mom works for a bank, I know that they work continuously to make it freakishly efficient. That includes the doing away with of checks. I don't actually know when the last time they used checks was, um, but checks are not a thing here. If you need to send, if you need to give money to someone and you don't have cash, you just get the, their account information and then you send money directly to their bank account. And actually, as I said, with them constantly improving efficiency, this can happen instantaneously. So um, my friend that I went to Italy with, there was a couple of times when she paid for dinner and I was like, I'll just pay you back. But instead of having to get the money for her or write her a check or something, I just transferred her the money and it ended up there instantly, which was really, really cool. So as I said, you have your bank that handles all of your money, you have your PIN card, and then you have your e-identifier. I talked about that a little bit already. So banks here are really great. Things are very straightforward. Um, the person that I talked to when I set up my account was, I mean, he spoke fluent English and he was very willing to answer all of my questions. So I didn't really have a lot of trouble setting up my, my money situation when I got here. And another thing that was really cool is with, um, with accounts in the US, a lot of banks have a minimum balance where you uh, have to keep a certain amount of money in your account. And that's not the case here, which is really great for me as an au pair because sometimes I go 
down to very small numbers. So it's nice to know that I won't ever be penalized for having, you know, like 37 cents in my account. If you are an expat living here in the Netherlands, you should know that you need a BSN number to open a bank account. And that's basically just, you get that when you get your residency permit or visa or whatever it is, whatever government documentation you need to live here, that comes with your BSN. And then they use that number to, it's kind of like your pseudo social security number. Um, and that's what you need to open a bank account. And it's after you get that, it's very simple. The other thing I wanted to point out is that it's quite common to have multiple accounts, um, which really, really deeply satisfies my compulsive need to organize things, which I only have the one because I'm not dealing with that much money. But within a certain family, you might have the account for what is used to buy groceries, and then you might have the account that has all your automatically paid bills and uh, just being able to organize everything um, all within under the umbrella of your financial situation but it's all kind of completely organized into separate accounts I adore that. Now all of this in comparison to banking in the US and in other places I can't really um, offer a good insight on that because I wasn't really super involved in my own financial situation before I came over here. So I had my own bank account, but my parents were helping me out with everything and I didn't really have to rely on my own <laughs> ability to figure things out. And on top of that, I didn't have um, mobile banking at all. And checks are still a thing in the US, so it, this feels quite different to me. Um, but it may be that things are starting to advance in the US and by the time I get back, I've already heard that um, Debit cards are no longer swipey, but they have the chip in them. Um, so that's already changed in the US to be more like Europe. So it may be that that transfers and multiple accounts and all the kind of things are kind of moving towards a more European or Dutch kind of banking system, which I think is really great because now that I'm used to all of this, my standard for a bank when I get back to the US is gonna be super high. But yeah, like I said, I don't know much to compare, but I really do enjoy the way the banking system works over here. So that is all for right now. I'm going to let you guys go, but don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it, leave me a comment, uh, share this video with someone that you think might be interested in finance and international living. We're getting to the end of March and I didn't quite complete my goal of doubling my subscribers, but there are quite a lot of new people here, so welcome everybody. And even though I didn't double my numbers, it's more than worth it to have you guys here. I'm going to try to get back to making videos more regularly. The last couple of weeks have been kind of crazy with Easter and then we had family in town. And another update, if I haven't already mentioned it, is I'm going to Ireland at the end of April. So I'm sure there will be lots of videos connected with that, both packing for it and preparing for it and the actual trip of Ireland. Um, so I'm extremely, extremely excited about that. Side note, Ireland uses the euro, and I am so happy about that because when I went to England for Christmas, I had to get it changed to the pound, and the exchange rate is awful. So I'm so glad that Ireland is on the euro. I'm so happy. But yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Dewey.